Hi and welcome to Anything Arduino episode 3. Today we're going to do something similar that we did last time. We're going to minify or shrink our Arduino today down to this little chip. It's an 8-pin uh, Atmel AVR. Uh, it's uh, it's the 80 tiny 85. Uh, it has 8 kilobytes of uh, memory. Uh, you can also get it as an 80 tiny 45 or an 80 tiny 25, where the 4 and the 2 are the case of memory. So 25 has 2 case, 45 has 4 case, and 85. This one here has 8 case. Uh, it runs at 8 megahertz uh, on the internal clock and uh, well it doesn't have many pins but if you have a, a, a project where you don't need that many outputs this might be a good choice um, we will have to uh, download a few uh, hardware files extra files for the Arduino IDE so it uh, knows how to program these and we're also going to make our Arduino into a uh, programmer to program this with. I'm going to show you all this in due time. Um, so it has uh, it has two analog pins. I'm reading here. It has uh, three. Yeah, it actually has. You can have up to five uh, digital inputs but two of the uh, digital inputs can also be analog inputs and uh, two of the other are uh, uh, analog or digital pins have PWM pulse width modulation uh, and then there's uh, voltage ground and reset uh, but uh, let's start by downloading the hardware files as I said, the first thing we need to do is download hardware support for these chips. Um, and we find this at highlowtech.org slash question mark P equals 6095. And we can thank the people there for making this possible, especially Mark Sproul for his work on making the Arduino core portable across processors, as it says right here. So. Uh, they talk a bit about the 80 tiny 4585 processor versus the Arduino pros and cons yada 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 uh, we go down here to 80 download so we download the 80 tiny master we've done that uh, and then we read what we should do we should have the ID software Arduino software we got that we got the zip file and we're going to within the 80 tiny master folder there's a folder called 80 tiny and that one should be put into our sketchbook folder within a subfolder called hardware so we do that and we go into our documents we go into our Arduino here's our sketchbook library uh, and there's the library for uh, other hardware support like the ENC 28J60 that we talked about before. So we create the hardware directory, we open up our AT Tiny Master, and within this folder there is, as they said, an AT Tiny folder. Uh, and we move that into our hardware folder so it's there so now if we start our Arduino software we go into tools board and we got all these 80 tiny chips to choose from as, l as well as the other Arduino hardware Great, so that works. Let's see what they say more. This is it. Connecting the AT Tiny. Okay, so now we have to go back on the hardware side and start connecting things. 
one thing I before we go into the hardware bit is I forgot that you we have to make our Arduino Uno IDE pl uh, platform into a programmer. So we need to make sure we have the Uno board selected and the correct serial port. Uh, and then uh, to make the Arduino um, Arduino programmer or ISP, you have in examples, you have actually a sketch called Arduino ISP. And it explains here that this makes the Arduino into an ISP. So we upload this to our full scale Arduino. Done uploading. So now we are ready to make the hardware side of things. Okay, so we have our chip here. And on all of these chips you have some kind of marking to show you which pin is number one. On this it's an embossed little circle up in the top left corner. So that's pin number one. Going to put this into a protoboard like that. And uh, on the screen now, I think you see the connection diagram from highlowtech.org slash question mark P equals 1706. So uh, there you can see how you connect the Arduino, which is now an Arduino ISP, a programmer, uh, how you connect this one to the AT Tiny to program it. So we're going to do this now. We begin with power ground to pin 4. I also put up on screen uh, the pinouts for the AT Tiny versus the Arduino. So what pins when the, the AT Tiny becomes an Arduino what what the pins are and that is what the what the other diagram and the explanation uh, is uh, is referring to so plus is pin 8 So that's power, and then we have the three programming cables. So AT Tiny pin two, which in the if it were a Arduino, so it's pin seven. It's very confusing. Pin 2 to pin 13 of the Arduino ISP. Pin 1, that is pin 6, to pin 12. And pin 0, which is pin 5. I hope you're following me on this. It is a bit confusing. First time I did this, I did not do this right. I want to stress that. And then we have the reset pin, which is pin 10 on the Arduino ISP and pin 1 on the AT Tiny, or the reset pin, which is pin. The reset pin had it been an Arduino, which is pin 1 when it is an AT Tiny, 45, 85, sorry. So, I got that. Uh, here's an important step that you might miss you need to have a capacitor uh, set between the reset pin on the Arduino and ground and this is because or else the Arduino will reboot after you uh, into the bootloader and and uh, the the programming 
uh, the Arduino as a programmer won't work. So now we've done this, we go back into our Arduino sketch here. And hopefully, if we have done everything right, we will now download the Blink sketch into our eighty tiny eighty five Arduino. So we need to do a few modifications here. We need to change the programmer to Arduino as ISP. And we need to change the board to an 80 tiny 85 internal 8 megahertz. So let's go see what happens. So, and now we the sketch is into our. Arduino, ET tiny Arduino, but we need to show this off. And we, I, I forgot to do one thing. We need to add the LED, of course. Difficult to show the blink sketch without an LED. And in the program, we need to change the LED pin. We're going to take pin zero don't have 13 pins on the itty tiny so I'm going to use the zero pin zero instead okay so now the sketch has been uploaded to the Arduino or to the itty tiny um, what you see is the blink sketch but something is not right and that is, uh, if we count the seconds, about, from this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's 8 seconds instead of the 1 second, which is actually in the sketch. And this is because, and this, uh, wrong sketch, sorry, in the blink sketch, uh, it's one second. So, the reason for this is that by default, this, uh, the internal os uh, clock runs on one megahertz. So, because we have, we have burnt the Arduino uh, pr sketch into this one with... 8 megahertz in mind but it's only running at 1 megahertz and that makes uh, everything 8 times as slow so to fix that we need to do one more thing we need to go into tools and then we need to burn the bootloader into the 80 tiny 85 so we're doing that And we're done, and now the the program isn't working anymore. So now we need to upload the sketch again. And now it's working as it should. So now we actually have now this small AT Tiny 85 is a nice little 8 megahertz Arduino which can run any sketch, or not any sketch, but it can run quite a lot of sketches that you throw at it. Uh, they discuss it at, here at lowtech.org, highlowtech.org um, the following Arduino commands should be supported and then it's pin mode Digital write, digital read, analog read, analog write, shift out, pulse in, malice, micros delay, delay microseconds, and software serial. I'm not sure which, and, and they're not sure either, which other um, functions 
uh, or commands should be available but uh, well it's it's a good start so with this I think we're done shrinking the Arduino uh, we only have power here I yanked all the other cables away so here we have a 8 pin little chip uh, which is a worthy Arduino running the blink sketch yay so from here let's do some more interesting stuff uh, with, the, with these small chips and with a full 80 mega 328 Arduino so until next time, bye.